Hello! Welcome to Shadows of Judgment. It is I, your hostess. Which of District 17? Oh, yes. We're going to look at what is going on with your Shadow of Judgment. What is Shadow of Judgment by chance? That's where we get to look at the nooks, the crannies, the curves, the corners. The shadow side, the things you don't know about the subconscious, things that keep you in a guard at night, right? Right. See what's going on in the background that you might not know about, because that's what I'm here for. We're going to see what's going on with y'all with this week's reading. This is going from the 12th to the 19th, because that's the number I'm going to remember. So when the 19th comes, I'm just going to fuck up that number anyway, so it's whatever. What? Which ones are we reading for today? Oh, oh. We got a thing between air and water. Air it is. Okay. Air signs. This is your shadow of judgment. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what's going on with each of y'all for the week. I sound really charismatic today, and I don't know why. Sound like a fucking radio person. <laughs> However, the smooth um, transition is quite nice. And I like talking like a sexy person. Even though I don't think I am. But that's just me, because like I'm a fucking... I don't know, I make too many like fart jokes to like <laughs> be taken seriously. But that's a whole Benjamin Button thing with Capricorns. We grow younger as we get old. All of gray hair still making fart jokes for sure. Gemini, you're up first. Remember, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Some past shit that someone probably walked away from. And someone feels like they did it all to themselves. Just straight up, like, fuck. What the fuck did I do? Now, there is a new beginning that someone wants to start, despite the fact that they might have um, ended up starting this shit, right? Now, uh, someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith from the past. Oh, dear. Everything just fell to the fucking ground. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, let's see. This person realized they played some shit and, like, fucked themselves in the end. Ooh, two aces. Some new beginning cannot start because the Ace of Cups was not delivered. And the Ace of Cups isn't happening because nothing's starting it. Someone got their wish. Ooh. And they realized maybe they were the bad one in this relationship. Ooh, there's a feather on the floor. This is my blue feather. Look at my blue feather. It's so cool. It's a blue jay feather, I think. Ooh. This person was a magician. Wait, here. Magician right here. It's like... Mmm. Boop, boop, boop. Overall, no commitment, no good things. Disconnection. Gemini. It seems like... Someone or something, either you or someone else, didn't want to take a leap of faith, and they got exactly what they wished for in the end, but that meant the disconnection right here. Um, this is your card, too, so you're quite disgruntled. You know, something didn't start, and someone recognizes it was their fault. Um, now, they averted the tower with somebody, but they also realized they did it to themselves by playing some fuck-fuck games. And maybe this tower not happening was a blessing because the relationship was not good. And that might have been good karma, either on your part or the person who you're dealing with. But it's kind of like, y'all don't get along. Y'all haven't, you haven't been getting along with somebody for a while, I don't know why. But y'all ain't gotten along with someone. For some reason. But, that might be happening in the background, Gemini. Next is Libra. Sorry. This is a machine gun, like... Or J-Rock from, like, Trailer Boys. 
<laughs> I need to go back and watch that show. I'm so sad Mr. Leahy passed away. Because he was like my spirit animal, just a drunken bastard. He was blue all the time. I love that fucking man. He was just like, he did not give one fuck. He was just gonna be drunk and doing his job all day. Like, I don't give a goddamn if I'm drunk. I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know why. It just was like, ah. Ooh, look at y'all. I feel like you're getting up on the money, getting steady. That's good, because you guys seem to always have a rough fucking time. I feel like you're by yourself, which is good. Because fuck everybody else. People are weird and they smell like cheese and shit. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. You know? Cheese smelling people. Oh, you got some shit from the past, too. Let's see. And then you got... Lack of options. Someone's got lack of options here. With the seven and the six. Very opposing. Someone's not taking a leap of faith when it comes to the past. To these options that are just laid out like shit. They're... Um... Not very good, or they are just lackluster. Someone from the past might have been an empress, you know. Um, could have been a mother, but very bitter. A mother figure who doesn't have anything to do with you. Someone doesn't want to even... <laughs> Someone doesn't want to deal with these options. Is just like, nah, I'm good. That could be you, Libra. This leave of faith leaves someone unhappy, though. And it leaves this person with, like, a loop. Uh, you just want to have a good time. You don't want to deal with these options. You just want to have a good time. I can dig it. Um, so, yeah, okay. Whoever this person is, you do want to make an offer to, or something to them, but you're not doing it for some reason. Like, the, le the lack of, like, even doing anything, it already bothers you, but you're still not doing it. Like, you're you're not slow, you're just like, whoa, this is a stop sign. It doesn't say a go sign, you know? <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck, dude? Um, looking for calmer waters, things not coming together, things are not done. Ew. What the fuck? That's creepy. Okay. Sagittarius right here, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? Ouch. Okay, so like, let me look at this. Okay, Libra, let's say you're the person who feels like the options are shit, right? If not, it's the person you're dealing with, it. dealing with. You know, cross watchers, interject wherever you need to. No fucking worries, I don't judge here. Um. I will curse you out if you try to start shit with me, though, but that's beside the fucking point. Um, I don't mind criticism at all. <laughs> but it's like... There's someone who's nettled that things didn't close the way they were supposed to, so they're moving to somewhere else? But it's still looking for that love proposal, too. Like, they're still moving to calmer waters, but it's like they're still wanting something, right? And there's no leap of faith being taken, and it's leaving you or the other person unhappy, even though they got the shit to offer. They got the stuff to offer this person who's waiting still. But the options look like shit. You're running away from them. You're looking for a good time, and it's like, you know what, I'm probably not gonna come back together with this person. But this shit will not die. <laughs> It is like a continuation of all the other readings I have done for you guys. Like, it's constant. It's like this thing, whatever it is in your brain, that will not fucking die because it's right goddamn here. It is insane. Like, I don't know how you guys can cope with it because I would drive me insane if I couldn't get somebody off of my brain. But it's also like there's people here who you don't mesh with with temperance, right? But you won't go to the person who actually is waiting for you, so it's just like, I don't understand entirely what it is you're looking for. If this is you, if it's not, it's somebody else, but it's like, like, I, like, what is that saying? Um, 
if, if you're dealing with somebody who's doing this to you, it's like you have to tell them, you can look for me and other people, but you will never find me. It's kind of like that kind of vibe a little bit. It's like whoever it is you're dealing with, Libra, it's like they won't leave you alone, but you won't go to somebody who is calmer, I guess. Or doesn't cause as much fucking drama that drives you crazy as the, the people you're dealing with. Because it's always like, nothing else looks good to you, so I'm just going to go back to these people who always just party and always indulge. And it's like... I don't know. I'm not trying to scold you. I'm really not. I'm more concerned because it's like, you know, you guys are all about mental torture. I don't know why. It's just that's the thing for you. That's what that's what helps you, right? I can relate, but it's like, you know, when do you start realizing the torture is about yourself? I mean, it's one thing to imagine, but it's like, I just, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm stepping over my boundaries, so I apologize, but... Aquarius, yours is up next. Let's see what's got, what the cards have for you. Oh, it's a Scrooby song. I like the Scrooby song. Mind you, my father is an Aquarius, and I had an Aquarius as a friend for 15 years, so it's kind of like... I don't know. It, it, you kind of pick it up after a while, and it's kind of like... They tend to always be backwards to what you're doing, too. Always. And it's like, hmm. Such a mirror. Anyway, Aquarius, it's time for your Shadow of Judgment. Ooh. We got... Page of Swords Reverse. Could be you. Could be Libra. Could be Gemini. Someone just acting a fool. Um, definitely could be Gemini. Because the relationship might have broke up. Looking for information. That's not the best thing to do. Because <laughs> now it's just like... Okay, whoever's snooping is making this whole not-resurrection of this relationship right here worse. They're, like, they're making shit worse. I, I, like, I'm calling that as it is. Um, now, this person does want to work it out, but like I said, they're making things worse, right? <clears throat> Might have separated for a queen of wands? Sag Leo Aries. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sag, uh, uh, like Aquarius. I don't even feel like this is you. I feel like this is the person you're um trying to uh, handle with care. <laughs> Cause it's like, they don't, like, I feel like they kind of... Okay, if this is you, Aquarius, let's just say this is you. You're looking really hard in order to make this work out, but it's like every time you look, you're proven wrong, and then it pisses you off because you care so much. It's like, the shit you love and believe in, you care in so much that you'll fight a motherfucker for it. And I think you're kind of fighting somebody. Like, really hard. Like, sure, it looks like a display of shit, and it is supposed to be a display. Um, these guys aren't actually hitting each other. They hold their wands in a way where, um... You can see they're not actually coming in contact, but it's more like a nobility show of strengths of the houses and shit. You know, like... Kind of like jousting, but not really doing any damage. It's more or less to, um show your health or your shield strength and be a demonstration of great shit. So if you, like, are fighting, you're trying to show something. Is this seriously Final Fantasy XIII song? Because I hear that shit. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Dude, 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 okay, Aquarius, oh my goodness, okay, you might, if this is you, right, you are doing your damnedest to try to find some shit or reason to work shit out with someone you perceive as a king of pentacles, a provider, a lover, or whatever, and you're getting pissed off because you're not getting shit about it. 
you're still looking for a reason to stick around, but you're going through all this fighting just to show shit? That, 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 that isn't necessarily going to help anything. And with the separation between the lovers right here, it could be Gemini, Sag, Aquarius, Sag, Leo, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's like this person is so compobulated and like you're so short tempered with the separation that they're coming up with bullshit that's causing loops, that's causing cycles that keep repeating. Like, you're trying to see... If this is you, then you're trying to see them like this, and they keep disappointing you with this shit. And then it's just... I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. You know? And then you're mad, and then you feel like you wasted your time, and you're still waiting on shit that, you know, isn't coming your actual direction. It pisses you off every fucking time. And it's like a repeated cycle right here. But yeah... That's the reading right there, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you for watching it. Um, you can like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure. If you want a personal reading, all the information is down below. First one's on the house, of course. I love you all. I hope you all are doing good, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.